Hello, it's Sonia here with The Pretty Stitch. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, I'm so happy to have you here. So today is Wednesday and that means it's the stitch of the week. So for today's stitch, I'm going to be using my H hook or five millimeter hook. And I have some, I'm, I think this is DK weight yarn. I, it's probably Karen Simply Soft, which is labeled worsted or number four, but I don't think it is number four. I definitely think it's a finer weight yarn, closer to DK weight. But it doesn't matter what kind of yarn you use, this would work with a variety of hooks and yarn types for this stitch pattern. So it's been a hot minute since I've done a shell stitch pattern and I love a good shell stitch pattern. So we're going to do one today. So to start this stitch pattern you are going to need to chain a multiple of 6 plus 2. So I am going to chain 20. because six times three is 18 and you add two and it's 20. So that's what that means in case you were wondering. All right, so let's begin row one. So we're going to single crochet in the second chain from our hook. And now we're gonna get ready to work our first shell. So we're gonna skip two chains, one, two, and we are going to work six double crochet all in the next chain. So you're gonna be cramming six double crochet in that chain. You definitely want to make sure you have six because it could be you could easily you know miss miss a double crochet or add extras two three four five six okay so we're good so now we are going to skip the next two chains so sometimes what can happen is this stitch can cover up the next chain so just you know push it back so one two and single crochet in that next chain and we're going to skip the next two so one two and work six double crochet in the next. We're going to keep going across. Skipping two, working a single crochet, skipping two, working our shell stitch, which is the six double crochet, all in the same chain. All right, so now we're gonna skip two chains, one, two, single crochet in that next chain, skipping two chains, one, two, working my six double crochet in the next. To complete my last shell for this row, And we're going to finish up this row, so skip one, two, and then just work a single crochet in that very last stitch. So here we go, row one is complete. So let's get ready to begin row two. And row two is actually going to be the right side, so we're going to chain three and turn our work. So all the even rows are going to be the right side. So this chain three is going to count as a double crochet. So we are going to be working in the back loops across for row two. So we're going to work a double crochet in the back loop. So if you don't know what a back loop is, if you're looking at your stitch on the top of your stitch here, so these are the tops of our stitches. So this is the part of the V here. This is your front loop. That's your back loop. So we are going to work back loops. So working a double crochet in the next five double crochet of our shell in the back loops. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. So now we're going to work a decrease stitch 
for a together stitch in these next two stitches and we're still working in the back loop so it's just going to be a double crochet decrease or double crochet together so yarning over going into my back loop pulling up a loop yarn over pull through two oops there's a rogue hair okay we're going to yarn over go into the next stitch back loop pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and we have our final three yarn over pull through all three of those guys so we've worked one double crochet decrease so now you're going to go across we're going to repeat this working double crochet in the next five double crochet in the back loops so one two three four and five and working a double crochet decrease so yarn over back loop pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over back loop in the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through your final three stitches and working in the next five double crochet back loops one two three four and five and if you're not sure I am going a little fast with this uh, decrease or together stitches I can certainly post a link and it'll walk you through it a lot more slowly and we're going to decrease in the last two stitches here so yarn over we're pulling up our loops working the back loop still to complete this row and there we go so there we have row two so at the end of row two I'm going to have a total of 19 double crochet here all right so rows two and three are going to be the repeat for the remainder of the pattern so we already did our first repeat for row two and so now we're going to work on our second one we're going to chain one turn our work this is going to be the wrong side and we are going to single crochet right in that same stitch working in both loops and now we're going to skip two double crochet one two and work our shell which is our six double crochet in the next stitch so it's like repeating row one but instead of skipping chains we are skipping actual stitches so I'm working my six double crochet one two three four five and six making sure I have the correct amount so I'm going to skip two, one, two, and single crochet in that next stitch. And skip one, two, one, two, and work my six double crochet in the next. And we're going to skip one two single crochet in the next and we're going to work our final shell so one two and work our final shell in the next stitch there And we're going to skip two stitches so I, I don't think I mentioned that this chain three that we did for row two will count as a stitch so we have three stitches left so we're skipping one two and we're just going to single crochet on top of that chain three which I of course made tight because you know that's how I roll I tend to tight or crochet very tightly which can get me into trouble sometimes all right so there is row three and so that is going to be your repeat for the remainder of this pattern. So we've chaining three, turning our work. And again, this is an even row, which is the right side. So you're going to work your five double crochet and then work your double crochet decrease in the next two stitches, five double crochet, double crochet decrease in the next two, five double crochet, and your decrease in the final two for the rest of this row. So you just continue to repeat rows two and three for however long or how you would want your swatch. So I'm going to go ahead and work a few more rows so you can really get a feel for this 
stitch pattern and I will meet you back. Okay, so I've worked a few more rows here. I have a total of six rows of this shell stitch pattern. So you can really see how the shells kind of pop out when you're working in the back loop there. I think this is a really pretty shell stitch pattern, which would be really nice for a variety of projects. I think it would be really pretty in a blanket, a scarf, actually like a baby sweater or a lacy, you know, sweater for an adult. You know, you could do a lot of different things with this stitch pattern. So I hope you enjoyed this stitch of the week and I thank you so much for watching.